all right welcome back to the channel if you're just joining me for the first time welcome uh today i've got the m1a out at the range i'm gonna put it through its paces a little bit i'm gonna do some accuracy tests so i have a target set up at 50 yards it is a large sheet of poster paper with a red square in the middle it's about eight by six it doesn't look like much on camera but i can see it pretty well with the naked eye so i'm going to be shooting some norma tactical 150 grain 308 rounds i've also got some um, federal xm adc 762 by 51 that's 149 grains that's basically the military spec rounds um, I tend to stick with a smaller grain weight. I've tried heavier weights. Uh, it's pretty punishing on the shoulder, though. When you're looking at 180 grains, 179, even 160 with American Eagle, Remington, or Winchester, you're looking at um, some sort of a hunting round. If you're going to hunt with it, that's fine. But if I'm doing a shoot-around day at the range, I don't really go that heavy. And I can already see the comments now people saying that I need to man up and that I need to do some real shooting and that if I'm going to practice to hunt then I need to use some serious ammunition that's fine if I'm just at the range shooting around then I'm going to use some lightweight stuff Fifty yards, first twenty rounds, about dead center of the target. Uh, I think that on my, I fired him five round increments. I think on the third volley, these guys right here were just a little bit out of, out of the way there. Um, I mean, this is perfectly still at the, at the rest. I felt pretty good about most of them, but that uh, third volley was just a little bit out there. So we're gonna move the target back. I'm at the fifty yard marker. <clears throat> I'm going to move it down to 100, that one right there. If you ever buy Norma ammo, or at least in the tactical kind, I've seen. I have some Norma pistol ammo. It does not come like this, but rifle ammo is obviously packaged different than pistol ammo. It comes in these nifty little black keepers, um, as opposed to your, like, just because this is the only example I have. The Federal has kind of a plastic. Basically, all in this box is a, a divider. But if you get a box of Remington, high power rifle ammo you're going to have like a little sleeve that it sits down in these little things are pretty nifty you got five rounds in each it's a 20 round box obviously and you got two of these inside the box 
and you can just break it apart five rounds just like that grab them push them out through the bottom just like that that would be almost handy enough if you were reloading to keep these if you're a reloader put more rounds inside of it and then just put what you want for the range and take it with you for the day so i thought that was worth mentioning I started the video off with some range time, just a quick intro of what I had, the target and the ammo, but I got right into shooting because my analytics tell me if I start talking too much at the beginning, people drop off and lose interest. So um, this rifle itself is stamped Rockola. It's stamped a Rockola M14. It's actually built by James River Armory, and I know it's an M1A, but uh, I am unaware of M14s ever being stamped Rockola or built under that manufacturer for the military. I know the M1 carbine was, um, James River Armory restores a variety of firearms, including M1s, M1 Garands, and uh, M1 Carbines. They build this. I'll leave a link in the description below for their website. Uh, their exclusive dealer is Classic Firearms. Both companies are located in North Carolina. The magazines themselves are from Checkmate. Uh, they supply to the military, but they also do commercial sales to the civilian market. I will also leave it link in the description below for that well i've been blasting away here um i've got four rounds left is all i brought out of the uh, 60. actually the one box of federal i think it had it was short a few or whatnot so probably i probably just put about 50 rounds to the gun minus these four i noticed that it was a little more prominent on the norma ammo uh, but you can see it here too on the federal there's a two-tone color on the cartridge I'm, if anybody knows what that is drop me a comment below and um share some information the microphone didn't pick up very well the shooters left and right of me it does not pick up well with ambient gunfire i can't use it at all when i'm actually shooting i act, i ended up doing some voiceovers on some of these segments as you can see and hear in some of the videos it did rain quite a bit and um most of my shots on this last at 100 yards were a little bit low i didn't adjust aim higher when i moved the target back some did uh, some of the shots were pretty well on the money. They hit the dead center of the target and punched some secondary holes into the same holes I already had on there. So, Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And I'll see you in the next one.